So this morning we want to help you protect your family and your pets from plants that could make them sick. Last night Scott Johnson showed us one of the deadliest trees in the world and it's found right here in Florida. In fact, it grows in no name key, which is in the Florida Keys and is essentially dangerous in every way. You don't want to touch it. You don't want to eat its fruit or even burn its branches. This morning we are taking a closer look though at poisonous plants, specifically the ones that grow here in Northeast Florida. Dr. Lindsay Shack is the assistant director of Florida Poison Control Jacksonville and is joining us live via Zoom. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Hi, good morning. Thanks so much for having me. I think the reality is, is our viewers may not even realize a plant in their yard could be dangerous to their family or their pet, which is why we have pictures of them. So I'd love to start if we could with the first, which is oleander. What is it about oleander that can be dangerous? Yeah, so oleander, as beautiful as it is, can be very dangerous if ingested really any part of the plant and um, it can basically cause toxicity to your heart. So it can be very dangerous. And do you have to eat a lot of it, meaning maybe a child who's just not thinking of it or even a pet? Yeah, so it all depends on the size of the child, the size of the pet and how much was ingested. So really, um, it, it would come down to kind of a weight based um, uh, amount that the, the child or the pet got into. Yeah, so just a reminder, you certainly want to keep them definitely away from your kids and your pets. Now, what about hydrangea? Uh, you know, it's interesting that flower on the hydrangea is just so beautiful. A lot of times people will have these actually, I, I, I've used them to decorate, uh, you know, a dining room table before. What's dangerous about them? Yeah, and again, they're beautiful. I also have them in my house decorating my uh, my tables. Um, and uh, if this one is ingested, it can cause basically your body to not utilize oxygen appropriately, and it, you can end up having seizures. Mm. And 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 it poses a danger then not only to to humans but also to pets then as well. Um, potentially to pets as well. Yes. And then what about elephant ears? These are very, very common in Northeast Florida, particularly out at the beach in my community outside. Yeah, I agree. I have them right across the street in my neighbor's yard. Um, so elephant's ear is mostly an irritant. So when chewed on, it can be very irritating to your tongue, to your mouth and to your throat. And should something like that happen, you come out, you maybe see your pet is chewing on one or for some reason you've got a small child who's ingested, what can you do? I mean, should you call poison control right away or just call the pediatrician? Yeah, no, definitely call us here at Poison Control at 1-800-222-1222, and we can definitely help you assess um, the situation depending on um, when it occurred, uh, what kind of symptoms the child is having. You know, we may be able to monitor at home, or we may need to have them call a pediatrician to find out if they need to go be seen. Um, as far as if your pet is exposed, there actually is an animal poison control as well. We can definitely attempt to help. Um, but um, ASPCA has an animal poison control as well, and they are super helpful whenever your animal gets into something. There's two others that I'd like to point out and, and particularly show pictures to our viewers. One is the angel trumpet. Your message to our viewers about angel trumpet. It is a beautiful flower. It, yes, it is. It's a beautiful flower. Um, and this one's actually commonly abused um, because um, it can uh, basically kind of make you feel high. Um, and so commonly this one will be not only accidentally ingested, but also abused and can cause um, your heart rate to go very high. It can cause you to become um, very altered. And so that one is very dangerous. Okay, good to know. Two years ago, we actually talked with a local dog owner who lost an animal after it ate part of a sago palm. Really? Yeah, so the seeds in the sago palm can be very, very dangerous to animals. Um, it can result in bleeding and lead to seizures. And just as few as one or two seeds can potentially cause um, death in animals. And so you want to be very careful with these uh, seeds as well. Um, and thankfully, the seeds only produce every two to three years. But you still, if you have those in your yards, you want to be very aware of um, when that plant is potentially producing those seeds and protect your animals. And I think what is so important, Doctor, about what you've pointed out here is by us showing these pictures, I'm hoping that our viewers pay close attention because the reality is we have a coworker here who didn't even realize that she had a sago palm because, you know, her backyard, you know, it was kind of, there's some forestry there. And her dog ended up eating the seeds of the sago palm and died as well. You may not even know that you have these in your yard. So please go back to our website, newsforjacks.com. Look under the morning show page. And we've posted all of these images as well. And doctor, thank you so much for your time this morning. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. 
And if you are ever concerned about something you or your family has eaten, I want to show you that phone number again for Poison Control, the hotline. It's 800-222-1222. It's easy to remember. Or you can also text POISON to the numbers 79 7979 to have the contact sent to your phone for FloridaPoisonControl.com.